Assalamualaikum. Peace. Hello, Abes. I am your instructor, Engineer Rhymes. And today, we are going to discuss... Agricultural equipment is any kind of machinery used on a farm to help with farming. The best known example is the tractor. It is a farm vehicle that is used to pull or push agriculture machinery. It provides power to farm implement and is used for plowing, tilling, disking, harrowing, and planting. Cultivator is a farm implement or machine designed to steer the soil around a crop as it matures to promote growth and destroy weeds. It is any of several types of farm implement that is used for secondary tillage and has two main variations, the drug teeth also called shanks that pierce the soil and the rotary motion of discs or teeth. Tine cultivator is used only in dry working situations as they cut the soil rather than invert the soil, kill weeds by cutting and lifting the weeds to the surface. Power tiller is a two-wheeled agricultural implement fitted with rotary tillers that helps in preparing the soil, sowing seeds, planting seeds, adding and spraying the fertilizers, herbicides, and water. Rotabator is a tractor drawn implement which is mainly used for seedbed preparation within one or two passes and is suitable in removing and mixing residual of maize, wheat, sugarcane, etc. Thereby helps to improve soil health and save fuel, cost, time, and energy as well. Harrows implement for breaking up and smoothing out the surface of the soil. There are four general types of harrows. First, disc harrows. Second, tine harrows which includes the spike harrows, drug harrows, and spring tooth harrows. Third, chain harrows. And fourth, chain disc harrows. Disc harrow is a harrow whose cutting edges are a row of concave metal disc. It is used to till the soil where crops are to be planted and is used to chop up unwanted weeds or crop remainders. The spring tooth harrow or sometimes called as the drug harrow, specifically a type of tine harrow which is largely outdated farm equipment. It uses many flexible iron teeth mounted in rows to loosen the soil before planting. Drug harrow is another outdated type of soil cultivation implement which is used to smooth the ground as well as loosen it after it has been plowed and packed. Chain harrows are often used for lighter work such as leveling the tilt or covering seed. The fourth is a chain disc harrow. Discs attached to chains are pulled at an angle over the ground. These harrows move rapidly across the surface. The chain and disc rotate to stay clean while breaking up the top surface to about 1 inch or 3 cm deep. A smooth seed bed is prepared for planting with one pass. Plow is a farm tool for loosening or turning the soil before sowing seed or planting. Subsoiler or flat lifter is an implement used for deep tillage, loosening and breaking up soil at depths below the levels worked by moldboard plows, disc harrows or rototillers. Seed drill or hoe drill or seeder is a device used in agriculture that sows seeds for crops by positioning them in the soil and burying to a specific depth. This ensures that seeds will be distributed evenly. Planter 
is a farm implement usually towed behind a tractor that sows plants or seeds in rows throughout a field. It is connected to the tractor with a drawbar or a three-point hitch. Planters lay the seeds down in precise manner along rows. Planters vary greatly in size from one row to 54 with the biggest in the world being the 48 row John Deere DB120. Rice transplanter is a specialized transplanter fitted to transplant rice seedlings onto paddy field. There are two types of rice transplanter, the walking type and the riding type, which is power driven and can transplant six lines in one pass. Manure spreader or muck spreader is one of agricultural machineries for adding fertilizers, pesticides, and organic manure. It is also known as honey wagon and used to distribute manure over a field as a fertilizer. Sprayer is used to apply herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizers on agricultural crops. Identify the agriculture machineries that will be shown for 10 seconds per slide. You need to answer them as fast as you can and you need to submit your answers after the last picture. Good luck! That's all for now. For further readings, see the links on the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lessons natin. Masalama! See you on our